Welcome to Buckeyes Tomorrow Morning for Sunday, February 25th. I'm your host, Tom Moore. The Akron game in 188 days. The game against Michigan in 279 days. We're going to let you hear from Ohio State linebackers coach James Laurinaitis once again today. Got some good feedback on the show from a couple days ago. Figured definitely there was plenty more to talk about. Today, you're going to be hearing a lot more about this year's team, this year's players, all that kind of stuff. A lot of interesting stuff from James on that. And a lot of players that we get a lot of questions about. So it's a good time to let you hear straight from the horse's mouth, the guy who's going to be deciding who plays and when. Well, let's let you hear from him. Let's start with James Laurinaitis talking about the chance that linebacker or safety, Sonny Styles could join the linebackers room this year. I think that's a question probably above me, but I, I think Sonny has such a rare skill set in the sense that you saw it some a little bit where he would play kind of the overhang last year. You didn't really know what he was. This is a safety, right? Or is this more of an outside backer? You know, is he a old school Sam, you know, <laughs> to use those terms? He's just so versatile. And so I think there's a lot of different roles that we can kind of put Sonny in to kind of bring out the best in him. I think with his body size and his age, um, when you try to project him forward, he's kind of in that um, Isaiah Simmons mix, if you remember that name, where you're like, what really is he? You know, is he a safety? Is it, he's just a weapon. Um, and so I think that's something that we have to kind of evaluate this spring is kind of where to put him to not only best suit what we want to do as silver bullets, but also what's best for his future. Here are another couple of young guys we get asked about a lot. CJ Hicks and Gabe Powers. They are both entering their third season as Buckeyes. So where do things stand for those two guys right now? They just got to play. And it, I think it all comes down to consistency. Um, consistency breeds confidence. So, you know, if you want to, you know, put your stake on a position, you got to do it day in and day out. And I think, you know, the vision that I have for our room is hopefully we come out of this spring to where we have at least four guys that have earned the right to play. And that's my hope. And I don't know if that'll happen, but what I mean by that is like, I thought last year we had three guys that earned the right to play. I thought with the way Cody Simon prepared during the spring and then in the fall, Quite frankly, looking back, I wish I would have played Cody probably a little more. Um, last fall, he earned it. So I think when you look at it, it's like, okay, can, do we have four players, maybe five, that can earn the right? Because if I think if you play well enough, the season's going to be really long with this 12-game playoff, right? So you're looking at, what, 16 games or something? So we're going to have to rotate if we have the ability to. Now, if only two guys show up and prove that they're trustworthy, then two will play. But I hope that we have a room that, uh, is reflected kind of what, what Brian has in his room, where it's guys are constantly iron sharpening iron, trying to claw for the field and for playing time. And I hope that's what we can have, not only exiting this spring, but heading into fall camp. Who is it that is ultimately going to decide whether Sonny Styles is a safety or a linebacker or a combination or something else entirely? Who's going to make that decision ultimately? I think it's a combination probably of everybody. I think it's probably Coach Knowles and Coach Day talking about I think there's a balance of what's best for our defense and what's best for Sonny's future. He's a, I mean, he's a big human. And uh, when you look at his body size, I think that he would, um, he would excel, obviously, as a linebacker. I also think that he has a unique skill set to where he can play out in space like he did last year. So I think it's just trying to figure out what does Sonny want to do, what do we think is best for the Buckeyes, and also with his future. C.J. Hicks, it was a five-star prospect coming out of high school, and outside of Sonny Styles, might be the guy we get asked about the most of anyone on the team. Why isn't this guy playing more? So, all right, James Laurinaitis, what do you still need to see from C.J. Hicks this year to see him get on the field more? I think just consistency, to be honest with you. Uh, C.J. has all the potential in the world. He does, and um, I think sometimes he's just got to he's just got to cut it loose and go play. And I think a lot. I think honestly, I, I expect a big spring from CJ. I think he, with the way he has attacked this off-season workouts, um, the way he's carried himself, I expect him to take a jump. And look, some for some guys, it's easy to come in right away and just go and play. And for some, it takes a little bit more development. But I think CJ is getting to a point where uh, hopefully this spring there's a lot of growth, and, and maybe some of that will come with just the fact, hey, this position is for the taking, right? Like, and I think some guys thrive on that and. We'll find out kind of how he reacts to it, but I'm a big fan of C.J. Hicks. I always have been because I think, he, like you said, he has such a raw um, and rare kind of skill set to where he can 
just physically he has so many traits that you love you know at the linebacker position Linebacker Gabe Powers came to Ohio State the same year as C.J. Hicks and has also been mostly a special teams contributor so far. What kind of growth has James Laurinaitis seen out of Gabe Powers in his year in Columbus? Yeah, Gabe. I mean, Gabe looks good as well. And I think Gabe last year, I can't think of players. Cody Simon's definitely won, but Gabe Powers got significantly better from last spring all the way through the fall and into the winter. You know what I mean? So as the season went on, you would notice him kind of making plays in practice uh, routinely to where you're like, okay, I think the light bulb is coming on for Gabe. And so I can't, I can't speak enough when you talk about those two and talk about Arvell Reese, how big this spring will be for them because it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to see who's going to be in there alongside Cody Simon. And like I said earlier, whether that's just one guy and it's two players playing, you know, which I hope it's not because my hope is we're able to keep, people fresh for this long haul of a season all right and finally here's another one we get asked about a whole bunch the jack position you've heard a bunch about it a lot of the times it's because we get asked about it and so we answer the questions over and over again you saw it a little bit in 2022 and then it really kind of went away in 2023 so does the jack position really even exist you know i i don't think it's um i mean you mentioned arvell cj Mitch Melton probably is another candidate. Um, it's definitely a part of our our scheme. You know, we didn't use it last year, but two years ago they used it a lot. And you know, as we go through and we um, self scout, we're trying to figure out, hey, what are we bringing to the table for for this season? So, to be honest with you, uh, we haven't gotten to those conversations yet about kind of that or who will coach it. But I think it's something that's definitely unique to Jim's scheme, and I think it'd be very beneficial for us. But you always weigh, I guess this is some this is you know something to ask Jim is you always weigh, hey, we have all this stuff in the system, and how much of all of that do we really need versus what do we actually do really well so our guys can play really fast? And there are sometimes where you need a lot, and there's sometimes where you don't need much. You can just go play. And um, I think that's for Coach Knowles to decide. All right. Well, that will do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed hearing a little more from James Laurinaitis. Very, very interesting interview subject. Very, very interesting guy. A lot of stuff to talk about. Really just enjoy hearing him uh, answer questions and some really good, thoughtful answers. So hope you guys enjoyed that one as much as I did. And hope you guys enjoy BuckeyeHuddle.com as much as I do as well. That is where Tony, Kevin, and I cover the team. Mark covers recruiting. We had our whole team of X's and O's gurus. Really fun, active board as well. The Huddle Board presented by Jeff Ruby Steakhouse. That's all at BuckeyeHuddle.com. Lots and lots to talk about there. Boy, it has uh, been an eventful year already in Ohio State Athletics. Promises to only be more interesting and more exciting moving forward as the Buckeyes head into spring ball just over one week away. I am really legitimately excited for spring ball this year. A lot of interesting storylines will be following for you there. A lot of interesting stuff to talk about. Really talented players coming back. Really talented players coming in. Should be a pretty fun football season means it'll be a great season to be a member of BuckeyeHuddle.com. That will do it for today. Thank you guys all for joining us. Have a great day. We will talk to you tomorrow.